Show from R and B to movies, yeah, we got all the yes, info. Yes, Miss Cherry, telling you the word. Air it out, girls, giving shout outs to those who deserve. It's the Air it out show. Welcome to the Air it out, Air it out show. Pink Panther, cotton candy, taking over your radio, bringing on the crowd to the front. Listen up, entertaining your ears. It's the Air it out show. And welcome to another edition of the Air it out show. I am your host, the Pink Panther. And I am your girl, Cotton Candy. And today we have the absolute pleasure of sitting with Trevi Perche of Trevi Perche Productions. She is an awesome playwright, rapper, actress, director. Mm -hmm. Man, she gets it done. Right. She gets it done. I admire this woman. I have the pleasure of actually being in rehearsal with her and she gets down and dirty. I <laughs> love it. She gets down and dirty. She is about her business. Absolutely. And I am absolutely looking forward to what you're bringing forth. Great. I'm excited. We have two plays this year going on. I'm doing the default. Hold on a second. She said two plays. Yes, honey. Two, two plays. plays at the same twins, time? Twins. Twins. I birthed twins. twins. <laughs> yes. Boy and girl. Boy, boy and girl. girl. No, boy and boy. Boy and boy. Boy and boy. Two boys? Two boys. Okay. And mm -hmm. so the first play is Defiled Bay. The first bed. play is the Defiled Bay, Pain Between the Sheets. Oh. oh. Between the Sheets. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, yes. What was the inspiration behind that, dear? Dig, dig. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Did no, you no, say no. dig? <laughs> no, no, no. D I G. <laughs> Is that what I heard? No, no, no. The chopping, no, no, the killing part. Go din, 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 oh, din, din, din. Yeah. Oh, I gotta be, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For the folks, because we need yeah. clarity. Okay, yeah, go sorry ahead. Sorry about that, but it's okay. um, I think the reason why I wrote this play because um, I've met a lot of, I encounter a lot of women who we're going through difficult situations and I decided to write about it, but make it in a mystery format. Not just write about the, you know, guy hates girl, guy cheats on girl, but kind of make it a mystery to pull the audience in and say mm. like, who killed Senator Joshua Brown? Oh. So we want to take the audience through a series like, it could be her, it could be him, it could be this person. We wanted, to, this is the first mystery uh -huh. that I've written. So I'm excited about it. I have an amazing cast. Um, I have an amazing staff. I'm just blessed. I can't wait for you guys to see. It's going to be on Broadway on February 18th, 2017 at the Symphony Space Theater. So you guys can get your tickets online and check it out. I promise you, the music, the songs, the pain, the Won't pleasure, everything is all wrapped up in one. And mm. it's just going to be one of those phenomenal plays that's going to make you cry, that's going to make you clap your hands. I think so that's right, girl. <laughs> that whole, that whole, you're going to get everything, all these that's emotions. That's right, because you have to talk back. Yeah. I love when the audience talk Talks back They to have us. to talk back. Now, who are they going to be talking back to? Now, wait a minute. Ooh. Wait a minute. One second. Uh -oh. Because we have right here next to us <laughs> Queen Diva herself. Now, now she is not only a part of the cast, mm -hmm. but you also work behind the scenes. Yes. Makeup. So, tell the people, uh, introduce yourself <laughs> to the world. Um, my name is Tanika Thomas on Facebook. I'm Shay T. And um, I'm also Trevi's personal assistant. I don't know. I'm, I'm like you, everything to You are to the her. glue. You yeah, are the glue. Like everything Gal to her. <laughs> Friday. Um, <laughs> she always undermined her position. She's really the publicist slash business analyst and specialist. Wow. That's there that's that's a there big go. thing. She yes. always go, personal assistant. No, it's more than that. She's on this next level of managing me. She manages me. Mm. She just came into management. One management out, God sent another manager in. Look at that. And who better? Come on. And yes. who better? Come on. Because you you are very organized. You mm -hmm. do keep it together. And I know that that's a lot of pressure yeah, because a there's a lot of characters that's running through her head. <laughs> okay? And no, seriously, as a writer. For real. You yeah, know. And, right. You and know. so when, you, when you're writing and when you're trying to remember lines it's and, it, you know, it's all these slash, slash, slash. So for you to right. be able to keep her together. Bravo. You know, it's a lot. It's a lot. And she, and she changes. Like, she'll be like. No, we have new scripts. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'll just well, you say, know. I, yeah. I'll just explain to the cast. No problem. Every rehearsal, so. I'm like, oh, this, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't know your lines well. I knew last week's we line. We could. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's also it's a new paragraph. Oh, okay. okay. 
And I also played three of the characters in The Defilement. Yes, she nice. does. Nice. Three. Wow. Three. Yeah. So I'm playing an officer. I'm playing... Um, a fresh cop. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. she's very fresh. <laughs> and um, I also play Lizzie the Nerd, who's the nerdy assistant in the um, senator's office. Mm. And then I play Sunshine. Mm. Sunshine has her own way of doing things. Well, you know, say. I think, uh, is she similar to, um, was it Harlem Nights? Yes. Ah. Very. Nice. Show your mother you coming home. <laughs> yes. Never, ever coming home. <laughs> yes. If you've never seen Harlem Nights, you, you have yeah, to do your research. Yeah, you you got to yeah, see yeah. that. Now, I know you're saying that the, the play is going to be um, coming up. Now, are you doing both your plays that same night or? Well, one 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 is in February mm -hmm. and the other one is in March. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So they're like month to month behind each other. Right. And is it at the same location? No, one is on Broadway, and then we have one that's going to be in Brooklyn at the uh, Best Eye Multicultural Center okay. on Fulton Street. But the first one that we want the people the to know about. The first one is The Defile Bed, okay. which is on Broadway, on February 18th. Yes, yeah. Broadway, come and tickets through. are already on sale. Already on sale. We have group sales. Right. Tickets sold. Now, where can people get the tickets from? www.symphonyspace.org. Mm -hmm. And then they just look for the defiled bed. They have a listing of what's happening, and then they look for the defiled bed, and you can purchase your ticket right online. Oh, that's awesome! Which is awesome because then it eliminates us from like the hand-to-hand -hand purchases, yeah, which and I things don't like. like that. Yeah, yes. that's better. Yeah, absolutely. That's much better. Absolutely. So now, my question was on delay, but I'm bringing it back to you. Who is the audience going to be talking to in the defiled bed? I think they're going to be yelling at a few women, saying, "You so stupid." And I think they're going to be yelling, they're going to be celebrating people like, that's right, girl, tell him. Right. And then I think they're going to hate the, the main character, but mm -hmm. then love him. Mm -hmm. You know how you got that love and hate kind of thing going uh, yes. on? I hate him, but I love him. You know that kind right. of thing? So, I, I, and then not only that, are they going to be screaming and talking back? They're going to be screaming and talking back to him because they're going to say, shut up, because they're going to be so mad with him. Right. But um, at the same token, he's very interesting because mm -hmm. he, he's charming, he's sexy. You hate him, but you want to sleep with him at the same time. How many women oh. slept with bad guys? Oh, I mean, come on. Mm. My mother used to always say, <laughs> my mother used to say, it's, it's, it's nice to date a dog, but don't sleep with him. No, she said well, you could sleep with one, though, but don't marry them. That's what she would oh. say. Isn't that a bad advice for mom to say that? I guess no. Mother, I guess mother knew best, right? I mean, you know, life happens. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a no comment? <laughs> That's a, it's just life happens. You know, some things you can avoid and some things you can't. You know, I would be sitting there going, That's right, girl. Oh my God, I've been there. I did yes, that. and there's oh, going to be a lot of that. Who's going to? Damn, you was looking at my window. Oh, my God. I can't tell, Charlie, not that. Oh. For real, it's really going to. It's going to. It's like a window into people past, present pain, mm -hmm. and um, their torment. Because a lot of times we stay with people, and that's torment. It is mm -hmm. torment. You know, and and when you start seeing women um, take their power back and get near independence, mm -hmm. yeah. you're going to celebrate. That's right. I yeah. know that. So yeah. I'm totally oh, yes. excited. I'm excited about this because you're gonna take them on a journey through yes. the characters, which is great. And you know, I've come to your shows before, and it's always, uh, um, it's like a moving, <laughs> a moving film on stage. Yeah. Because just when you lock in on mm -hmm. a certain um, group of characters, you can be fixated in that corner. Right. And then you have something coming all the way from the other side, a right. whole new scene, right. which is great because right. it moves the story. Mm -hmm. and, and when you go to live theater, you need to be entertained. Yes. You have to you have to tap into every emotion. Right. Every emotion. You have to make people not want to go to the bathroom and they want to wait to intermission. When you get a person that that don't go to the bathroom in the middle of your play and hold it to intermission, mm -hmm. you got your audience. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah you absolutely. do. Absolutely. Because if I look at my phone while I'm watching something go to the bathroom, I've had enough. Right. That's <laughs> never good. Pretty much. Yeah. If no. if you if you can check messages while you're watching a show. It doesn't have your attention. Yeah. Mm. So I'm super excited. <laughs> yes. Now, not only do you, you're the jack of all trades, mm -hmm. but you also dabble in makeup. Yes, I do. Tell the people about that. Um, I don't know. I just started dabbling in makeup like around high school. 
I don't have a license or anything, but I just practice a lot. It's and a I natural just... talent. We're not going to tell people what you have. <laughs> what you have is skills. <laughs> right. Skills to pay the bills. Skills so sex. now, uh, uh, <laughs> the natural raw talent of the makeup diva extraordinaire. <laughs> tell the people about that crap. And get going, at, darling. Um, <laughs> she is so funny. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, basically, I like to. I really like to do the makeup thing. I like to do it on the side. Um, I've had a few people that I've done before, and I and think the it's long. Production of Bum Rush. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, wound specialist. Yes. Yes. <laughs> special, yes. special effects. Um, she is a wound specialist. Yes. Trust me. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. but yeah, so um, I do the special effects, and that came off of doing um, Bum Rush. So if it wasn't for them, I probably went never had started doing that. So I like doing both, and it's you know as long as people are happy and they are pleased, then right. that makes me happy. So you know how to beat the face to make them look gorgeous, and you know how to make them look like they got beat, <laughs> which is great. Basically, yeah, <laughs> right. that right there is skills to pay the bills. Right. All so right. Now before we start talking about the next play, which is Thou Shall Not Kill, mm -hmm. why don't we get into a clip of? You have a clip for us, right? Right. We have a yes. clip. Would you like to introduce it? Uh, this is a clip for the Defile Bed that's coming February 18, 2017 at the Symphony Space Theater. Watch this. Good evening. This is Chadwick Wells from WNNN with breaking news. Senator Joshua Brown was found murdered today in his townhouse apartment. Police sources tell us that details are sketchy at the moment. But sources close to the senator tell us that the senator has been known to have extramarital affairs with many women. Who would want to kill Senator Brown? As you know, his wife is well-known clothing designer Beverly Brown. My sources tell me that it was his wife that discovered his body naked and on the floor. Clearly a crime of passion. More details as they become available. This is Chadwick Wells, WNNA. Come on, Harris. You know what was going on. You had motive and you had opportunity. Just come clean. I'm a pastor. Second, I married him and his wife. Just didn't know he'd sleep with mine. I didn't kill him. I sure wish I did. I found out I wasn't his only mistress. He was supposed to leave his wife for me. I didn't kill him. I just slept with him. When I married Joshua, it was for richer or poorer, for better or for worse, until death do us part. I guess death won. Woo! Yes! Oh my that's God. fire right there. Who, who, who did it? it? <laughs> that bed is looking kind of dangerous. <laughs> who did it? Who killed some Joshua? Oh my wow. God, Joshua bad boy. <laughs> Bad boy. He it's was... going to be so exciting. We are going to affect many emotions. We are there will not be a dry eye in the house. And um there are gonna be a lot of laughter and there's gonna be a lot of people who see women being in an abusive relationship and not physically, mm. but mentally and emotionally, which is the most dangerous place for a woman to right. be. Right. Well yeah. not right now. So well, please include in uh in, in your playbill. Some type of social services for the women that <laughs> we already have it. We already have it. We already have it. All right, yeah. good. We have to do that. We yes. want them to get therapy. We want them to take right. their power. On the low. Uh, <laughs> thank you, girl. Yes. Therapist. That's it. One eight hundred run. Get your life. <laughs> <laughs> yes, honey. Listen, we we are just getting mm -hmm. started with this wonderful playwright. We're gonna be coming right back yes. with the next cast. The of next cast. Thou shall not kill. Thou shall not kill. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. Mm -hmm. End up on stage. <laughs> <laughs> and we are back with a second scoop of Miss Treve Poche. Here with the second cast of her second play. Sweetheart Queen Diva, tell them about it. This cast is, this is my second play called Thou Shall Not Kill, where murder becomes the new black. Mm -hmm. And so here we have sitting next to me um, is one of the actors, Troy, and he could tell you a little bit about his character and, and a little bit about the play, what he uh, does. My name is Troy Cannon, and I play Trigger. Mm. Trigger. You, you don't like this dude. You're not going to like him. Oh. Yeah. So that's uh, 
It's a it's a coming of age type play type thing. It's uh it's it's real. It's something that you need to need to see. It's thought provoking. It makes you look at yourself, make you question yourself. And you know this guy. You don't like him, but you know him, and that's it. This guy's a, a jerk. Like you don't like. He's just he's foul. And his name is Trigger. Trigger. Yeah. And yeah. his, his name Trigger. speaks for itself. Yeah. yeah so. Trigger is, is is a neighborhood gangster. Yeah, he's a, he, he runs the hood. He, he runs, runs the, the hood, yeah. and um and yeah. it doesn't matter who dies in the midst of him making a point, he's gonna make that point. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's actually what you see today on the paper. And this young lady next to me, she plays. Uh, uh, I'll let her tell you herself. Hi, Rory Bailey. I play Mrs. Bates. And um, I'm a mother who has recently just lost her son to gun violence. And what happens is that I'm conveying my story to everyone, or the community, anyone who's watching, mm -hmm. anyone that hears. But the story is deep. It's about what we want our children and any black community to go through, you know, being smart, going mm -hmm. away to college, mm -hmm. coming back, having mm -hmm. fun. But what all mothers, I think, any mother or any parent fears about their child going out into society. Yeah. Right. I mean, she loses a son to gun violence. Mm -hmm. Yep. And she is here to tell the community to let's make a change. And then we have our very own <laughs> Stacks, who is also in the play, yes. and I'm really blessed to have her. And she could tell you a little bit about what her character and what she does. And she's a great actress. Yes, she's great. Thank you. Well, first of all, I want to say thank you for the opportunity. Thank I you appreciate for the opportunity. Yes. Um, I play the first lady, uh, Naomi Key. Oh, mm -hmm. right there. That's right. And uh, Naomi is key. <laughs> she she is key, is key. Mm -hmm. to Pastor Key, and um, they have uh, they have a, a strong relationship. Right. They um, are very realistic. Mm -hmm. I, I feel I feel that like right. they're very realistic, and I, I like the fact that um, unlike many couples, they can fight and come back. Right. Yes. Yeah. You know, yes. Right. So you Absolutely. have to be able to cool. fight and come back, and communication is always key. Right. Um, I have uh, well. First Lady has <laughs> has two children, and she has a very close relationship with her children, and she's also key to um, to the members of the church, and mm -hmm. she um, always has her hands outstretched, and her yeah. heart is always open to receive anyone that may need some guidance or some right. counseling. She's always right there, yeah. but she finds herself in a very um, in a very tough position. Um, mm -hmm more towards the later part of the right. plan. I don't want to give that away, right. but yeah. it's, right. um, it's a very difficult position for any, anyone yeah. to be in. And she plays it so yes. powerfully when our last rehearsal, um, watching her and Dre, who's in Bum Rush, and their chemistry together and bringing life yes. to somebody else in the audience mm. situation mm. that we were all in awe. And it was like, it was real. Yeah. And then we have a politician that's in the play, and he said to us, he has five cases mm -hmm. that he's dealing with right now that what we have in this play. Wow. And Look he's going to bring all those mothers who lost their sons to the play for healing. Yeah. So even the, oh, we call the play when murder becomes a new black because that's what's happening in our community. Being black is not even important anymore. Murder is. Right. Mm -hmm. So we, our message is, is like stop killing each other. Right. And we're displaying what you're doing, what, the, what not what they're doing, but what, when they bring the guns into the neighborhood, what the guns are doing to our people. Our children are not growing up past 18. Yeah. They're not seeing college. So what we decide, what I decide to do is put it on paper, put it out in the theater, and say, let's, let's be a voice to make a difference. Mm -hmm. let's, let's not promote violence. Let's say stop it. That's why it's called Thou Shall Not Kill, yeah, which is it. in the Bible, too. It is. <laughs> one it's of in the, the Ten Bible. Commandments. Mm -hmm. It's one of the Ten Commandments, yeah. yeah. That's right. it is. Now, what so I would it's... like to ask the cast members and Ms. Stax Cordero, <laughs> a.k.a. <laughs> yeah. Pink Panther, yeah. um, is when, when you guys go about, I know that you've created these characters, but what do you do to, um, to, to reach inside yourself to bring the characters to life? We'll start with you, wow. Mr. Trigger. <laughs> um... I know him. We all know him. Uh, I got uncles who would trigger. At one point in time, my father could have been triggered. I could have been triggered if I didn't do something different in my life. Like, we all know this guy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not somebody that you don't know. 
but it is somebody that you'll recognize and hopefully empathize with as far as how he became who he is. Like Stax, I don't want to give too much away about the play, but there's a certain dynamic between pass the key and trigger. Right. So that's something right there that makes the play even more important because it, it Trevi sews up a lot of loose ends okay. in, the, in the play. Right. Like that. It's, there's a flow. Yeah, it's a flow. So too, you won't so, yeah. watch it and go, well, who's that? Well, why who's did that, this? yeah. Why did that happen? You yeah. see how it starts from childhood to manhood. Okay. okay. So that's, that's your it's, thing, just yeah. a, it's a transition just yeah. so smoothly. You see that first gun when he got at eight years old and mm. he shot a man. <laughs> Wait, wait, no, I'm just going to say this. And, 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 and so that's that power, that, yeah. that power he felt transfer into manhood. Mm. Yeah. And so that's, you got to try and find a medium in there. And there was that, no yeah. medium. There was no, men, where was right. the black mentors? There right. were no mentors. Yeah. So like triggers the end result of just like, he's there. Right. You know, well, and that's what you. That, that, yeah, it's not yeah. even chasing. It's just that like, he has to have respect at all times. He's got to be in control. Right. You got to respect control. what he says. You better do what he say. If not, you're going to get another side of him. That's the type of person that he is. And to like, because I'm not like that. As a, I got to tell everybody, <laughs> don't, you know, like me, just don't right. like was, the character. He was uncomfortable right. doing yeah, it like, first. Yeah, if because I, had to like, because yeah. I, I made him become um, abusive. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So Security. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I, yeah, he's And a, that, he's was, that, that was hard for him to do that because yeah. I said, you have to stay away from everybody. Mm. Yeah. And I don't want you to be friends with anybody. I want you to stay in this place because it's a dark place because mm -hmm. that's where this brother is. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so when you come to the stage, you you give it off. And Stack, she plays a detective as well. She has many roles. And <laughs> yeah. She's a detective. She's a mentor. Mom. You know, mom. she's a mom. Yeah. And but she also talks back. She's about to get in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. So it's a... Right, so it's a question, yeah. mother. So I'm a mom of four but my oldest is a 17 year old and he's away in high school away so the the story i'm not going to give it fully away but the story i just put myself in to actually her story and think about my son mm -hmm. and me thinking about my son actually going through that and dying because my son when he comes from school in georgia he'll say like oh let me do this and let me do that and sometimes as my character i'm just like i don't know if you should do that like, <laughs> i don't know if you should go here i don't know so i actually put myself okay. in that character and seeing that actually happen to my son actually brings tears. Yes, Last week crying. they were like, she you really cry? I was like, I know because I really she felt was like, yeah, was, I was, was shaking. shaking. And, you know, even afterwards I had to kind of calm myself down. I'm like, okay, this is not really happening. We, we, right, just, right, we, just, right. wanna, we just wanna, we, we just want our community to heal. And even if it's a very small number, right. I don't care if it's, Two or three. The Bible says, even if they say, even, um, God got one after that one and not the 99. If, if, not, if not can reach that one male that says, you know what, I want to put down the gun, then, then, we, did, then we all, mm -hmm. we, yeah. we've done our job. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did so. you want to add anything to that? Um, well, in, it, answering your question, um, how do I prepare for Naomi Key? I read between the lines. I mm -hmm. read between the lines. And um, the first lady of my church is Fly. Shout out to you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, Reverend Lakeisha Warren, FCBC. Um, she's Fly. I've had the opportunity to like work backstage and I've seen her come down. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's so regal. You know, so nice. when she's every, every Sunday, every time you see her, her hair's tapered. She's just flawless. Every time I'm like, oh yes, I have to. Be like that. Like that's, you know, that's yeah, what I'm thinking yeah, about yeah. as far as fashion and you know, and as far as upkeep is concerned. That's what I thought about. But in in reading her story and having her husband's back, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, and in, in in mothering her daughter who can be kind of mouthy. She's so cute. <laughs> um, but she, but her character is very mouthy. And it's like, Girl. Wow. you know. So there's there um there are some points that you know that every mom you know can can definitely uh, relate to and I you know I, I bring that to life me being a mom myself and you know me being a, a former spouse I know how to argue with somebody I know how to make my point right you know yeah. and mm -hmm. I know how to come back right, right. you know right. and so right. and so that's what Naomi key does Naomi is trying to keep her relationship together regardless of what's happening mm -hmm. right you know and it's like okay this 
this happened, but what about us? We, you know, we still here. Right. right? You know what I'm saying? Right. And so I think that um, that you've put something phenomenal together. Thank you. You know, and I just can't wait to see it all come into fruition. Yeah. Yes. 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 Because now Excitement. I'm working on the music coming in and oh. the angels and the demons and, you know, just a whole big production. People have this whole big musical where when they leave, they'll feel uplifted, they'll feel motivated, and most importantly, loved. Now, I noticed you guys mentioned children. So are there children in both your productions? Yes. yes. No, there's, or, there's only children in Thou Shall Not and Kill. And this production. Yeah. And they're from the ages of five. That girl, yeah. little, my little cousin, is five. Mm -hmm. Five to, I think, to, uh, 18. 18, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's awesome. They're very yeah. excited, energetic, and yeah. they're on it. Yeah. yeah, they're on it. Okay. Now, this play comes out when? It comes out March 18, 2017. Mm -hmm. and it's going to be at the multiplex. Uh, I'm thinking of movie. Yeah, there you I know, go. right? Go. Speak, Speak it. Speak it. Speak it. Speak it. I'm agree on the screen. No, it's at uh, the uh, multi, I don't know, I forgot, Best Eye Multicultural right. Center right. Um, in Brooklyn, New York. Seats about 500 people. And how can you get tickets for that production? Um, you can actually hit me up on Facebook, Trevi Booker Perche on Facebook or Instagram, Trevi Perche Productions, because right now we're um, setting up to sell tickets um, through in, in, invite, in, invite, or invite? Invite. Invite. Yeah, invite. Yeah, invite. Right. yeah, yeah. that thing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Eventbrite. <laughs> Eventbrite. We both Eventbrite. said it wrong. <laughs> Eventbrite. What in is the, it? In, it's e Eventbrite. Yes, that's Eventbrite. it. Eventbrite.com. That's it. Lord, Evite Lord, is right. personal. <laughs> but you have all been personally invited <laughs> yes. to my Please Facebook side, Multicultural Please. Center, to witness Yes. The, the the next flavor of Chevy Chevy Porsche. Porsche. Yes. Evidence. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Evidence. <laughs> yes, oh, honey. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Listen, I you have been blessed by a woman who has not only one but two plays coming out in right. 2017. Oh. Miss Trevor Porsche. I love you. She's so funny. Yes. Oh, funny. Tell the people. How they can get in contact with you if they need you for future roles or anything like that? Well, as a comedian, this mm. is different because I'm like not cracking jokes, mm -hmm. so this is like totally right. other side of it. So, but my name is Troy Cannonier. You can find me on Instagram at I am Troy Cannonier, C A N N O N I E R. You also find me on Facebook at Troy Cannonier. Hit me up. I'll perform, make you laugh, say some stuff that's not He's appropriate. Funny. You know. Okay. <laughs> no, seriously, say some. But there it is. Come see the play. I'm on Instagram as Rory.Bailey, and I'm on Facebook as Rory Bailey. Yeah. Nice. And we know how to find you, Miss. Yes, yes. You can find me under the Air It Out show, liking everything. And I'm always tagged in the Air It Out show pictures, so if you cannot spell Stax Cadero, if you just click on the picture, my name will pop right up. Right. And how can they find you? You guys can find me on Facebook or Instagram. You can find me at Trevi Booker Perche on Facebook and then Trevi Perche Production on Instagram. And then you can visit my website at www.pdmperformingarts.com. All right now. Mm -hmm. So Trevi Perche <laughs> Production. <laughs> woo -woo. Yes. The you have been what? And thou shalt thou not shall kill. Not thou shalt not kill. kill. Yes. And what is it? Mm -hmm. The defiled bed. The defiled bed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have been aired. Aired. Out, out, out. That just happened. Yeah. Welcome to the Air It Out, Air It Out show. Pink Panther Cotton Candy taking over your radio. Bringing on the ground to the front. Listen up. Entertaining your ears. Air It Out, girls, we here. You are now tuned into the Air It Out show. From R&B to movies, yeah, we got all the Here's info. Miss Cherry telling you the word. Air It Out, girls, giving shout-outs to those who deserve. It's the Air